Come on. Yes! Oh, no. Oh, there's the dragon. That is a big one. Let's go take down some gamer girls. Oh, no. It's a rare. We got her. Oh. So I just killed an imp. And you may be wondering, why did I kill a nymph? From what I understand, I think nymphs spawn from flowers. And whenever you kill a nymph, they drop a ton of flowers. So if I plant all the flowers that I get from killing nymphs, I may be able to up the spawn rate of all of them around the temporary base that we have. Since we're fully geared though, I'm going to start actually killing some mobs that are gonna be spawning near our house. I'm gonna need to make another weapon before we do anything though. All right, let the mob grinding begin. Oh, what was that? What in the fuck? The Loch Ness Monster is here? Not right now, you are not. Come back later when I have a crossbow or something. I really can't deal with you right now. Oh, nice. Level eight already. God, doing this is way better. Whoa, okay, we got some rocks. He's got his eyes set on me. Oh, wait. Oh, shit, all right. They're fighting over me. Oh, God. There's enough of me to go around, ladies. Calm down. I'll take your feathers, though. Although you broke my leg. Oh no. Okay, that's a blight skeleton. If you don't know what these are, they're super fast. Anything that burns with purple will drop you 30 levels of experience most of the time. Oh, it's worth to try and kill him. I think what we need to do, if he doesn't despawn, I may be able to get into the bed, heal myself up, and then try and go for him. Please don't despawn him. This may be so good for us. Let's go see if he's still there. He is. Okay, okay. Let's play this carefully. He is going to be very, very strong. He's going to be fast. He's going to be zipping around. Let's go for it. Oh! What are you? Okay. Oh, God. Our weapon broke. Okay. Yes! 24 levels! Level 8 attack, okay. What else do we want? We need to work up on magic. One, two, three, four, it's just to start using bandages. Go ahead and get mining up to eight. Yeah, let's get magic up there with the rest of them. Oh, man. That was, look at the skills! That was so worth it! That was so worth it. I thought that was gonna go way worse whenever the fucking whatever the goddamn thing that was. I've never seen that before. There are some creatures I've never seen. Let's get rid of this last skeleton just in case though. What the fuck was that shot, dude? Are you fucking stupid? What are you aiming at the sky? Is that gonna- if that came down and headshot me, I would have been so pissed. <laughs> fucking blight skeleton. The chances of seeing that. We've already killed an ultra mini boss. We've killed a blight skeleton. And okay, we have yet to kill a dragon though. That dragon's probably gonna murder us. Get some heart crystals as well. These are gonna be very, very nice. Once I get nine, you can turn these into a heart crystal, which is exactly what you think from terraria it just gives you another extra bit to your life pool so you can take more damage oh wow oh can we make oh no we need to find one piece of gold if we can get one piece of gold we can go ahead and make a summoning staff now since there is a dragon that we have to keep mind of i think we're probably gonna have to make a boat i'm not usually uh, excited to make a boat because this shit is terrifying as fuck to sail on top of the water but sometimes you need to do what you gotta do i'm gonna bring a pickaxe with us just in case maybe we'll find the village or something we can actually use as well i have noticed one thing though it's getting a lot hotter and that's gonna be a very big very big thing to keep an eye on if it gets too hot we're gonna have to take off our armor and we don't want to take off our armor got anything in the ocean just a squid okay let's go gonna go in the f5 because i'm scared of shit Moo fish? What the fuck, dude? My worst nightmare right now is probably running into some more sea sirens, but I don't think they're gonna be that big of a deal now that I've seen how weak they are. Even the ultra mini boss was killed so fast. So the dragon is right, right there. Oh god, don't look at me. We are coming up to this though. Now this is a trap, and it looks like it kind of broke as well, so <laughs> it's kind of easier to see it's a trap. Let's mine out these pressure plates. Open this up. What do we get? Some iron? Okay. Some coal, bone, and eh, nothing really too good. But now that we're around the dragon, we're free to explore this side of the desert and what i'm hoping to find is a dead dragon's body because once we get that we have the opportunity to work on making something very strong an item that would essentially give us x-ray to find any ore in the game that we want unlimited experience and you know we need that on the other side i'm also looking for death worms we want to kill those and get their chitin to turn into armor and it's not the best armor compared to what we have right now but it's good backup armor if we need any in the future oh, okay so there's a castle over there. New house, maybe? We do need to keep our eyes open, though. 
We do not need to let our guard down for one second. I'm actually so fucking scared. If there was one dragon over there, there's probably gonna be another one somewhere. And in fact, there's probably two dragons. <laughs> Scratch that, there are three dragons. That village is on fire. No! Oh, it's a big one too! Oh, man! Nah, let's get away from that. We are in an area covered by dragons. I think while we're over here, I'm gonna go ahead and kill some of these jousts just to get some XP. Because I, I do not want to lose these levels. So there's level 8 magic, just in case. Oh, it's a dragon body! We gotta grab them, we gotta go. Alright, we gotta dip, we gotta go. We cannot afford to lose this. Oh! We're not in, we're not home free yet. Anything can attack us at this point. Until we get to the base with this skull in our inventory, we are not free. In fact, we are close to more dragons than ever right now. With two nests on our right in between us and this desert, we are in the most dangerous spot to be at. This is so important that if I lose it, I may actually cry. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Yes! Even though it's a baby dragon skull, that is gonna be so good. Oh. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm so excited about getting the Dragon Skull. Allow me to break it down for you. I'm going to show you this trinket right here called the Dragon's Eye. And we need a Dragon Skull to create it. With four diamond swords, some glowing ingots, and a ring that gives us night vision, we get the Dragon's Eye. It allows us to see any ore in the game we want. And on top of that, gives us permanent night vision and permanent fire resistance. We can do anything with that. That is why I wanted to start next to a desert. And let me tell you, I'm glad that it went down like that. Now we gotta fight a fucking lion. All right, he's dead. Level six, what can we do with level six? What have we not touched yet? Building, gathering, and farming, and agility. With agility, I think this is more based on taming creatures and having pets and mounts, and I have yet to do- Oh my God. No, you're not. No. Let's close that up. Oh shit, a reaper. Oh, God, that thing scares the fuck out of me. Woo! That's what I didn't want to see whenever we were taking our first rest, because that thing does a lot of damage if you don't have any armor. Now, I've started to realize, since I've pretty much used all of my iron, I need to go down and get some more. And the only way I'm going to do that is if I get some torches to start exploring caves a little bit more often. Apart from just digging straight down and hoping to find something. Before we do anything, though, I do need to get some sticks. And the best way to do that is by doing, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I just make a saw? Oh, dude, let's just go make a saw. So I've realized if I just want to get a ton of sticks, I can just make a saw. With three sticks and two iron ingots, I can combine them, make the saw, and then use it, I'm pretty sure, with the acacia wood or the wood chopped, and then I can turn those into a bunch of sticks. Instead of bringing a bunch of leaves, I can just automatically convert them. So here's the saw. We're going to put that in there. We're going to put that there. 63 sticks look at that yeah no hold on to that for later and now that we have these i'm going to go ahead and make a stone shovel just to make harvesting flint a little bit easier there we go well that wasn't that hard actually that was super easy so we're gonna take these we're gonna combine those three flints and steel nice 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 and now we're gonna take some of the coal from our deposit throw that up in here that that is a lot of torches i probably didn't need that many but you know what it's too late there we go two stacks and four extra torches for going down and finally doing some real fucking mining <laughs> now one thing about these torches though is they do not last forever these have a time limit and once that time limit is gone they become unlit torches again so this isn't going to be permanently lit apart from that it's time to go on a mining journey i'll tell you guys what i get or if anything happens now here's an ore we haven't seen yet this is heart crystal ore those heart crystals that i was talking about earlier the ones that if you combine nine to make a little uh, extra heart for your bottom bars and your head and everything if you break these they actually give you exactly that so you don't have to just kill rares and you know big boy mobs just to get those you can actually just mine them from on the ground well okay dude really that is oh my god actually how much diamond did we get now i'm not gonna mine it with a stone pickaxe i'm not a fucking idiot oh i'm thinking if we're lucky we may have another one right here come on give us six that'd be so perfect for what we need <gasps> it's six yo okay okay this is good remember how i needed exactly okay Never mind. We need, we need, we need, okay, we need eight diamonds. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay, that's still a good fucking knockout, though. That's great. That's really good progress towards the dragon's eye, which we need eight diamonds to get. Six is already three of those swords. We just need to get one more. And then we need to worry about the glowing ingots and the ring of the enchanted eyes, which the ring is not that hard. And this ingot is probably not the most difficult either. For now, though, we kind of just have to leave these here until I find some more iron to make a pickaxe because I don't have any iron to make a pickaxe. So. I could smelt the armor that I'm not using which is probably a huge brain move. You know what? Let's go do that. <laughs> Since we're not using that gear anyways, we could use that iron for a pickaxe. Then we could start mining the heart crystals as well. A bunch of other stuff. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we don't even need the leggings. Boom. Iron pickaxe. Wait a minute, we have iron ore in my inventory. I'm a fucking idiot. Are you serious? I forgot I mined iron ore. Okay, whatever. You know what? While we're up here, I have nine levels anyways. We might as well put these into, let's see. I think I'm going to start putting it in building. Building becomes very, very necessary later. Such as placing down an anvil. That's right. That requires building levels. <laughs> a lot of shit you need building for. All right, let's go down and let's get those diamonds, baby. Now, the problem is there is a very high chance that one of those rock golems can spawn out of breaking diamond. While we're down here, we might as well grab these as well. Oh, that's actually enough to make a crystal. We'll do that whenever we get back up there. But for now, we got this juicy bad boy right here. I'm gonna back up just in case because I do not trust this at all. In fact, I'm gonna eat one of these. Here we go. Oh, come on. You're doing so good. Oh, thank God, dude. Yes. Six straight up diamonds. Beautiful, beautiful. That is going straight towards the dragon's eye. Just need to find two more diamonds and then we'd be set. After that, it's just the ring and the glowing ingots. Very nice. Right, right there. We're gonna have to make another chest. That or I'm gonna have to start throwing out stuff. But now that we're out here, let's do this. Heart container. You need level eight magic to use it, which is why I was leveling that up earlier. Watch my HP. Nice. And over here, you'll notice now our head and our left arm. It ran- I think it randomly chooses. Thank God it chose the fucking head, because now we can take an extra fucking hit. That is beautiful. I will take that to the fucking bank. Well, back to mining. So, now that we know there's diamonds at this level, though, I can just mine completely straight, and we should find more diamonds eventually. Hit you guys back up if we find anything. Oh! Lapis! Oh, we're gonna need that. We're gonna really need that. For enchanting later, we need this. Nice. That's really good to find. Oh, God. They're always down here, man. Always down here. Let's see it. Show me it. I want to see it. Yep. All right, we're going to block that off and come back to that later. That's that pool of uh, water we were talking about last time. We're going to go the opposite way. So this right below us is actually silver ore. I have no idea what it's really used for, but if you guys know anything about that, feel free to tell me because uh, I don't think it's good for anything, so I'm not going to touch it, but it may be, and I may just not know yet. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Mm, fuck that. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's a big one. That is a huge one. Okay, let's see if we can actually take him out. No! Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Okay, so he blew up inside of a lava pool. That is dangerous as shit. I'm still gonna try to kill him, though. I know he's got some good loot. Nope. Yep, I saw that coming. Sometimes, you know, it, you know, he's... Uh... Okay, we're fine. All of our shit's over here. Thank God. I thought it deleted for a second. I was like, oh, we only got back nine levels. So we lost one of the levels. So before we go ahead and fight this guy, I'm just going to dump all that in building. I'm not even going to try and uh, waste that. All right. Best way to do this is make an extra area where I can walk around. Got him. Nice. What did we get? We got nothing. It, we it, we got one emerald and some quartz. Like, who the fuck cares, dude? We got scam. Oh, dude, that fucking hurts so bad. And all we got was that? Okay. I fucking died for that. Oh, my God. Whoa, there's a golden one. Oh, man, he fucking charged it. Didn't do as much damage as I thought he would do, though. Okay, we need to throw out some stuff. And in fact, why not just use some of this stone to fix up the base a bit? Let's make this a little bit better for ourselves, just in case something tries to attack us from the midnight sky while we're trying to sleep. I feel like we should probably have doors, but, uh, you know, I'm I'm more of a, I'm more of an open type of guy, you know, everything, everything's kind of out there. This is, this is fine for now. This is fine. We just needed to stop stuff from getting to our bed. Now, I'm going to start throwing out some stuff that we're definitely not going to need. Pretty sure we won't need most of this this way i can keep my stuff a little bit more organized in here because i know i know looking at this is fucking terrifying all right i did my best to sort the chest up a little bit to somewhat you know similar things but for now that looks a little bit better i've also thrown out anything i don't really need seeing that half of the items i have are just really kind of there from the beginning we did manage to mine a bunch of iron though and I've actually used a little bit of it to make more iron pickaxes, and I've put a lot of the XP in the building. We're almost level 8 building, actually. And I think that means we may be getting close to making an anvil. I've decided to come down here and mine until I find a little bit more diamonds. And then once we find that, we'll probably look around and see if we can figure out how to get blaze rods. I remember there's a couple mobs that actually drop them. But we do have some lapis here. I'm gonna back up just in case it explodes. Yeah, there it is. I knew it. 
What we get from this guy? Ah, more nether quartz. Nothing special. Level 10. Gonna put that right in the building. And now building is level 8. Now that I have four things at level... No, five things at level 8. Holy shit. I'm not gonna work on gathering agility or farming just yet. Those are very niche things that I don't really do a lot of. I think my next thing is probably to keep working on defense up until level 16. And it is a lot. But I feel like it's gonna help us beneficially in the long run. Better to have better defense than better damage output. Because if I can take a hit, I can keep dishing hits. If I can't take a hit... How am I supposed to do damage? I've just dug down a little bit and realized that bedrock is right here. So we're only three blocks up. We need to go another 10. This is way too low. We've moved up to 11. Let's see if this helps us find diamonds. That or a cave. Oh, well, okay. Well, that did not take that long, did it? Oh, fucking diamonds, dude. Wow. And it's a very small cave. Nothing to really worry about. Except for that lava. We should probably cover that up. In this mod, never trust lava. Everything can spawn from lava. I'm gonna light up the place. And we're gonna grab these diamonds. And hopefully it doesn't explode on us. All right. How many diamonds do we get? Woo. Oh, it's a lot. All right, let's grab them. Please don't explode. That is so fucking lucky. Six more diamonds. Apart from that, I don't think we really need any more until we get the dragon's eye, because then we're going to have as much as we want. And at that point, XP will be coming in by the bunches. Oh, man. Whose fucking house is this? Beautiful. We now have 12 diamonds and a shit ton of iron to smelt. Slap those boys in there. Whoa, okay, I thought that was a fucking dragon again. These things are annoying. They will grab you every single time. Except this one seems to not really care. Do you have any interest in me? Are you trying to say I'm ugly? Fuck you. What's your problem, dude? I really don't know why he didn't grab me. <laughs> he may not be interested. God damn it. I knew I was ugly. All right, level nine defense. Slap it in. Now that we have the diamonds for the diamond swords, though, we need to get some glowing ingots. And the best way to usually get these is to do battle towers. Now, battle towers, as you know, are difficult as shit. Or if you don't know, they're difficult as shit. <laughs> now, we do have a battle tower in the desert. Actually, there are two. I'm going to take a risk. We're going to go to the battle tower and see if we can get enough glowing ingots from it to try and get closer to what we want. I'm also going to craft an iron rapier. I'm going to need to be very careful. We do need some building blocks, so it's good to bring this. We're probably going to need food that can heal us, so we're going to have to kill some makas. Let's go and find some makas and slay them for their meats. Ah, I didn't kill all the makas yet. Good, good. We need them. Nice. I cannot wait to do this battle tower. I, I am telling you right now, this battle tower is going to be so fucking fun. Mermaids! More of them! Well, if we killed them once, I'm pretty sure we can kill them again. It's probably best to kill them to get their scales, just in case for later. How many do we have, though? I'm going to guess at least one. <laughs> it looks like just to be one. Let's go. Bring me over. It's the last thing you'll do. Woo, they are tanky. Oh my god. We didn't even need to go to the desert. We have a battle tower right there. Well then, that's the one we'll do. I see spiders over there in the distance. That means there's another dungeon there as well. God, we have a lot of stuff around this, don't we? Let's see if we can kill this alpha male now. Oh, I oh, didn't even do that much to my head, actually. That wasn't that bad. And he's dead. Guess who's the alpha now? That was fucking stupid. <laughs> I think we can stop on 32 meat. I think that's fine. Otherwise, we're going to kill the entire population. And I don't know if you can actually breed these things. But if you can, that'd be so nice. From all those kills, we actually got up to level 12 as well. So dump that in there. Level 10 defense. Getting nice and close. We're getting really close to actually using some really good gear now. And now, while we're here, we might as well make some iron armor for the helmet and the boots. Even though what we have right now is fantastic, that is way better, actually. Magic shielding is beautiful. And? Whoa! Okay, I will take that. Perfectly fine with that. All right, let's go ahead and cook up this meat. There's all the meat cooked, and it actually gave us a lot of levels, too. So I'm heading over to the battle tower now. I've got my boat and all the food we could possibly need. Now, if we do the battle tower and we do get pretty far in, if we somehow make it near the boss, we'll probably have to hold off until we get explosive resistance gear because he does a lot of damage. And I do not think we are equipped just to handle that yet. There's also a Leviathan that we have to be careful about because he's right fucking there from the bubbles. Look at him go. We could fight a Leviathan. No, no, he's doing too much damage. I guess we could try to build up and go around him. I think that may be the best thing to do. There's no way in fuck we're going to be able to get around a Leviathan. And I do know he can jump out of the water, so we're going to have to be really careful. There was a lot of lag going on, so I had to reset my game. But now that we have the game reset, we could finally loot all this. That is, before all these guys come up here. Whoop. Okay, I think they may have noticed we're up here. I did break the two spawners up here, but I have not done anything extra yet. 
But I guess, hey, we're doing the battle tower now, so. I have 15 levels of experience, though. I'm gonna slap those in defense before anything happens. Because when you break spawners, they give you a lot of experience. They also give you diamonds, gold, and heart dust. And the gold is what we needed for the summoning staff. We need to be careful because these spawners can summon mini bosses. Taking all the bandages I can, though, we're definitely going to need those. Whoa, a geist. Oh, God, that scares me all the time. Oh, creeper. Oh, man. Okay, there's a mini boss somewhere. It just threw me. One of those have a little bit of levitation powers, so I'm just gonna back up and let them die. Probably the easiest solution. Whoa! Yep. Okay, there's a mini boss in there. Oh god, he's throwing me. I'm gonna make my way back now. Hopefully, we should be fine. Oh yeah, we're looking good. We're fine. Whoa! Looks like the spawners finally broke. So the first area is now ours. We still have to play it careful though, because zombies could come down from any second. Oh, it's soaking spiders. Let's go ahead and eat this. Yep, play it safe. Okay, we're fine. First of all, I want to see what loot we have in this chest. Oh, okay. Looks like nothing too crazy. But these spiders are going to be difficult. Mostly because their hitboxes have changed and I'm not immune to poison. You know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna go back to the base right quick with the gold bars. Why don't we just go ahead and make a summoning staff and then come back here and have the summons help us fight? It's a flawless plan, really? <laughs> Why do the dirty work? when we can have our minions do it for us. And on top of that, defense is now level 12. We're getting very close to wearing even better armor than before. Man, these fish that spawn all around our house are so nice. It's just free lapis. Oh! You dare defy me! Oh! Okay. A wither bone. Oh, God, the nausea's throwing my movement off. Let's go back to the base, take a nap, and then work on that summoning staff. So, we have the ender pearl here. Now we need a normal bone and... A gold bar. There it is. A summoning staff. This is gonna help us out so much with fighting mobs that are very, very difficult for our current level. So we can only summon things that we've already found before. So, such as the Abeya, Geo, something. Kobolds, and then we have the Reapers. I think, to be fair, we may be spawning these bad boys. Because they get in there and they get dirty. So those will be our minions of choice for the tower raid. Now, like I said, I don't know if we're going to get far into the tower, but we'll get as far as we can. Well, I mean, we did pretty good for the first bit, to be fair. We just fought until the spawners ran out, and that seemed to work just fine. All right, let's do this. Oh! I'm taking a lot of damage. I know there's one thing those poison spiders can drop to make us completely immune to poison. But until we get that drop, this is going to be very, very annoying. I am really hoping we get that drop. Let's spawn our first dude. All right, help me out, brother. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Okay, this went this went from zero to 100 very quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Eat this. No, that was fine. No, no, it's fine, dude. No worries, man. That, no, that was planned. Oh, God. So we're probably going to have to go back, try to pick up at least something. I don't know, dude. It's going to be really bad. I should have brought a weapon, to be fair. But, you know, we're just going to do what we can. The Geo guy should still be there, hopefully. And if he is, he may be able to help us out for a little bit. Please let there be something up here. Okay, I guess I'll just fucking pick it up and put it somewhere. Okay, we got something to use. Shit. The Geo guy is still in there. Fight for me, man. Or just despawn. Oh, fuck. We're gonna have to come back with a weapon. We gotta get back here fast, too, because if we don't get back here in time, all of our items will probably despawn. But even if we do lose all that gear in those levels, it's nothing too bad. We may as well slap on some armor. Let's make a new weapon. Let's get back over there fully geared up again, and let's take him out. We got a rapier again. We got to make another shield, but we do not have enough wood to make another shield. That's fine. That's fine. We're not really dealing with any skeletons at the moment. And if we pick up ours on the ground, we should be fine. I'm going to make another summoning staff as well. This time, I should probably, you know, use the right setup. Uh, he, he was on defensive, so he wasn't really doing anything. So now we put him on aggressive and follow, so he should help us out a lot more than just standing still and watching me die. I have an idea, actually. I've got this joust meat from earlier. And I know what it gives you as a buff. It's the same as the Silex meat. It'll give us speed three and we can get back to the place faster than ever. And if we need to get back over there again, we should be fine. But this chest plate that we have on does have burning thorns. So if we get hit, it should send that back straight to them. Let's get back over there. Let's go get our items. This is going to be so much more difficult than it looks. Let's test out one of our minions finally. There he goes. Look at him. Now he's doing something. No, yeah, he's doing it. 
Oh, he hits hard. Okay, Golem. I'm going to need you with me. we got a mission to do. All right, they're going to get in there and pretty much rip that spider apart. Okay, they've done that. Pull one right there. He'll go take them. We do have a type of mana pool, though, that we need to watch when using summons, but we should be fine. We're going to put this guy down here. Come on, man. Get in there. There you go. Look at them go. Oh, okay, I'm poisoned. It's not that bad, though. No, it's pretty bad. Okay. I think the best idea is to go back and get some heals again. By the time we get back, we should have more mana. But at this point, if we don't do it now, I think I think the items will be long gone. Oh, a nymph spawns. Nice. We definitely needed you. All right. By the time we make it back over there, we should be finally set up again. And this time, this is our best chance to do it. This is the final push. If we can't get our items from this, they have probably already despawned. Some of the minions are a little bit bungy, but... Oh, he's getting in there. Oh, no. Boys, I think we have maybe lost our gear. Which kind of sucks. But you know what? What can you do about it? There's only so much you can do to try and save your gear. And then the horde of zombies comes. Oh! Yep, no, boys. It's been, it's been a good fucking ride. Holy shit. Okay, boys. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you lose. How am I still alive? My god. What am I? How in the fuck I am going to be on the brink of death? There's no way in fuck. How in the How did I survive? I have sl I have permanent slowness so my legs are fucking broken. How did I survive? A creeper explosion, multiple zombies, poisonous spiders, and yet I stand. I am fucking unkillable. So, our gear is gone. But you know what? I'm fine with that. That was a cool way to get out of that tower. That was cool enough for me. I'm going to use this experience before, it, you know, we die again. <laughs> but uh, that was worth it. There's a nymph right here. I'm going to heal up and I'm going to get back in there. Oh, yo. Not right now, dude. So I healed up with the nymph, though, because I wanted to go in here and loot that chest that actually had some good items in it. Oh, hello. We don't give up this easily, even though we probably should. So much shit went down in there. Let's get what we can and let's get out. I heard you. You think I'm not going to hear that? Let's take one more last look and make sure our items are gone. Oh! Yeah, no, they're gone, dude. They're gone. Legs are all busted up. Chin snapped in half. Brain injury. Brain damage. Leg broke. We out. We are definitely not ready for a battle tower yet. Or at least... Oh! Oh, God. We're gonna be chilling out here for a bit. I'm gonna put some levels in agility so I can put on this tool belt. Which, uh... Oh! Jump height and speed. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Sadly, we did lose our quiver. But then again, it didn't really take anything to craft, so... Oh, look at that. Oh, man, I jump really high now. Look at this. Woo! God damn, there's so much shit in the water. I'd never want to touch the water, but I know we eventually have to. Dear fucking Christ. Let's see if we can get home without being sucked off. If there was ever a time to run and do it now, though. It's now. Oh, shit, they're all behind me. We should be able to make it. That's gonna hurt my leg, but whatever. Let's get back home. So we may have lost the gear, but to be fair, in the end, we got back most of the levels by killing all those enemies. So it was kind of worth it anyways. Oh! Why do these things exist? Holy shit. It's like I would probably know that that's under my bed. But you know what? It's fine. We can't end this episode on a bad note. So I'm gonna go over here. Chop down this tree. Is that a normal tree? I think this one spawned a normal tree by accident. You know what? I'm not gonna complain. This is easier wood. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Every time. Oh, okay. All right, let's calm down. Everything is trying to get... Let's go back to the base. I really don't want to have a heart attack, but holy shit, am I on the edge. Chopping down those trees, I got a few logs. Now, nah, my fucking hatchet broke, but I got six. That's all that mattered, so. The reason why I say that losing all that gear is not anything bad is because, watch. Not even within two seconds, we can get back all of the gear we have. And even though the quality may not be as good as the ones we had, which some of them are really lucky, we're perfectly fine. The only thing... Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Maybe we should fix that one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, we got back all of our armor. That really mattered. The chest plate that we have currently is actually pretty good, though. So, we'll probably keep that on until it breaks. And we got the shield. So, before we end this video, I do want to craft one thing. Like I did last time, I crafted a Tide Guardian chest plate in episode one. I want to end off on a really big advancement for later on progress. So, these dragon bones will be just perfect for that. Why not go ahead and make one of the strongest weapons that we're going to be able to use way, way later on? At level 24 attack, the Dragon Bone Rapier. What's the quality? Oh, graceful. Now that is beautiful. This 
is going to change everything. Once we hit level 24, we will slice and dice every enemy in our way. But obviously, it's gonna be a while until we get to that point.